Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name is Kyle. Today I'm in the back of a little lake here. It's kind of like a long finger lake. It's kind of like a big dip all the way down the center, about 30 foot deep. On one of the edges, there's a fish crib. And the weird thing is, is in the wintertime, I've never really found fish on a fish crib. Well, this fish crib has fish on it. We're gonna drop the camera down, show you what they look like. And also, I just lost on my, lost on my color. Where'd you guys go? There we are. Um, we're gonna step outside. Another thing that I wanted to do today was put some tip-ups out. You know, just good old tip-up fish. We're gonna try to catch some bass, try to catch some pike. Um, we're fishing. You know, we're gonna drop the camera down. There's a lot of bluegills down there and they're, you know, they're decent, but enough talking. We just got the holes drilled here. So we got, we're gonna do a camera hole and jigging hole. So let's get some stuff situated. We're gonna get some tip ups out and hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. We're going fishing. So we're in about 10 foot of water here. So it's not that deep, which is good because this is a pretty murky lake. So if we were any deeper, I mean, we'd still be able to see, it would just be like black and white. So, getting some 10 feet of cable out, we're gonna drop this bad boy down. You guys are about to look at a fish crib, so let's go check it out. And here is the fish crib, guys. We did switch to black and white. We got a couple bluegills down there. Let's get some spins out of the camera. This is a fish crib. Look at all them bluegills. Pretty medium sized bluegills. Maybe that one in the middle would make a sandwich there. Let's go over to the right. Let's check this crib out. Look at that. Another medium bluegill. But that's a fish crib. It's basically like a little log cabin underwater. It's basically what I tell people whenever they ask, what is a fish crib? The DNRs put these here for, you know, for the fish to have some structure. There's a little bass. See little bass back between the right there in the middle of the screen there's a little bass there but um hopefully when i drop my jig down we'll be jigging between the crib and the camera I'm, i i really tried all right guys so i have on a little rattle master it's a cast master basically it's a little small one. it's got a little rattle in it glow on this side a little stripey kind of perch on this side it's got a little rattle in it but one of the main things of you know people would say that is a complaint but aquaviews underwater cameras it's kind of hard to line up your bait so right now the camera's just down there pointing somewhere right so we want to see the bait so what i always do is drop it down if there's fish on the screen watch the fish's reaction so them fish as soon as i start dropping down they're probably going to start moving you see the one on uh, in the back of the crib there, see them coming, see them coming. Okay, so I am down low because they are looking down. So I'm gonna turn the camera hopefully a little bit this way. And keep on jigging, where are them bluegills looking? Okay, did they go too far? There's a nice bluegill there. Oh yes, look at that. Okay, so we are literally on the edge of this crib. Can we catch that bluegill? Real quick like, boop, bam. He looked decent too. Oh, yeah. All right, so, yeah, medium. You know, if you guys wanted to come out and catch 10, 15, those would be pretty decent eaters. Not bad. See you later, bud. All right, fast and furious it is gonna be. Holy smokes. I just wanna do it again, and then we're gonna get a tip up out, or two tip ups out, because we're just gonna be jigging one line. In Wisconsin, we can have three lines, so I got one. I'll have another tip up, and maybe another tip up. Oh, this is awesome. Right on the corner of the crib. Look at these fish just coming in here. So that nice thing about the Aquaview too is if we don't want the little one, yeah, let's just drop it past him. Well, okay, okay, see? Just get it out of his mouth, you know? You can work them, work to them big ones. But uh, yeah, so we're fishing on the edge of the crib. Ooh, see how they scooted away? That means big fish are coming. Oh, yep, there it is, there's the pike. So that's a nice pike, guys. That is a nice pike. That's probably about a 32 inch fish. Nice bluegill right here coming up. One more. All right, so we got some, oh, we came off. We got some Fast and Furious action. We're gonna put out tip ups because that was a really nice pike. So see you guys outside, let's set some tip ups up. Tip up case here with our tip ups in it. I'm gonna grab this one. 
We'll go outside and drill a hole. That pike is hanging around just chomping these bluegills down. I literally want to put this tip up right here because if that pike is, you know, hanging out, that would be minty. He just chows down instantly. I'm going to put the, uh, I'll probably put this one like six feet under the ice. There's that slushy popping through that ice there. Weird stuff. Okay, go. I'm so excited. Guys, that's a, that's a giant pike. I hope we can catch that pike because it is, it's a tank. It's a tank. So for bait, first let's get my depth set. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom because you've seen how high he was. That crib is, that crib's like six foot tall. So we're maybe four feet under the ice. That's all we need. So for bait, I got a little sucker minnows here. This is what a sucker minnow looks like. We're gonna put him on. And hopefully that pike is just gonna be hanging out and comes by and eats right through the back. Just like that, one single hook on this guy. See you later, bud. Turn our blue tips on so if we're in the shack, we know it goes off. It should sound like a loon. Let's give her a little test. Okay, I got the, yep. See, I got the vibration. So, if we hear that, that means tip up, guys. Here we go. We got one set. Let's set, set up another one real quick. Pike, pike, pike. I wasn't really on a pike mission until I seen that monster on the screen. And it's like, you know what guys? We're actually gonna try for some pike today. Should catch one of them little small bluegills and put the bluegill on for bait because that is completely legal where I am at. I can do that. You guys check your stuff before you do that because it might not be legal where you're at. Okay, so we are rocking and rolling on everything. The aqua view is on, we're dropping down. We just got the tip up set up. And actually look out and see them dropping down. Let's try to pick through some of these bluegills, see if we can't catch some big bluegills. Where are these big bluegills at? Where are them big? Ooh, or a little one for bait. Watch a pike come through. Oh, I mean, I, he got off. Big bluegills, not little ones, no. Stop it! Oh, wow, them are, look at that. And then you wonder why you don't got no bait down there. They just <laughs> mid jig. Let's get a uh, bait it up. Literally this lure though is like, I've been using it all season long as far as like anything, like put a minnow head on it, catch crappie, catch perch. It just, it works for everything. I like it. it rattles it glows it works let's go down for another one come on tip ups big old pike i know you're in here i like how we're right on the edge of the fish curve that's kind of neat but uh it's it's weird to me that these fish are hanging out on the fish curve in the winter time which Look at these fish just standing straight up for this thing. It's windy out. I'm gonna have to close my door all the way. Get, get out of here. Yeah, go on, get. All right, we'll catch you. How did you hit the camera? See, they're actually not that tiny, tiny of bluegill. They're hand sizers, just unders. Nothing I'd really keep and keep in, but. Uh, if we could pick through them and get some bigger ones. I want to see something interesting. Like, I want to see a crappie swim through here. Like I said, we're in about like 12 feet of water or so. You really got to be fast with these things. Oh, this one's decent. That one's decent on the right. Come on. It's, they don't get big for being dumb. Can we catch two at the same time? Nope. I want the one behind you. That one with the big black ear on him. That's a nice big bluegill. Look 
at all these fish. Oh, I rolled that one. You gonna come back? Or that other big one's coming for it. Ah. And another thing, if I had on a smaller jig, the little guys would just destroy it. And I'm already out of bait because they plucked me out of bait already. Crazy. Bear hooking it. Jeez. Jeez. Come on, tip ups. So basically, I'm just keeping myself occupied with these little bluegills and hoping we can get a nice bite. A nice tip up bite. Man, I hope that pike comes to me. It's, when I was kind of scouting around before, I, I pulled up a bluegill up the live scope and then that pike came through and it was like, whoa. But he might have just ate a bluegill and now he's not hungry, you know what I mean? But we just got to wait for him. I'm just going to go baitless for a minute because, I mean, See how they're just biting the body of it now? Like that one that just came in. That one looks big. He is close to the camera though. Roll, 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 roll your fish. Ooh, they're just pecking at it. Well, obviously there's no bait on it right now. Got him. That one looked that one looked better. Yeah. Heck yeah. Lengthy. Lengthy guy. Kind of, sort of. For how little he is, he's long. If I was keeping bluegills, I would have kept that one. Ooh, that one looks good. Sizable. He got stuck on the ice and I lost him. I'm almost thinking if I could catch our small bluegill, we should put it on a tip up. I mean, I think we should. Like not smaller than this, obviously. I mean, it was a big pike. I mean, maybe he'd, yeah, that's big bluegill. That would just be setting off the flag. It is legal, completely legal where I'm at to use game fish for bait, but it counts towards your limit. so. Keep 25 bluegill out here. If you had one on your tip up and you had 25 in your bucket, you'd be over your limit by one fish. Um, Cause you can keep 25 bluegill where I'm at on this lake. So see you later, bud. Just beware of that. Ooh, I'm gonna put a minnow on. Let's try a minnow down there. We'll keep the same jig. We'll just hook the minnow through the back. So tiny little crappie minnow. We'll just hook them right through the back like that. Then he can wiggle it around. And if a bluegill eats this, they'll peck at it and stuff. But if he, if a bluegill actually eats it, it's going to be a big bluegill. And maybe we can call a crappie in too now because we got a minnow on. See, like I said, they'll pluck at it. But for a bluegill to actually eat, it's got to be pretty big bluegill. No way. Y'all be shaking my minnow off the hook now. I had an idea to keep you guys off of it, but obviously that's not gonna work. Oh, are you kidding me? He chowed. Oh, there we go. That one looks good. See if we can get the hooks. Nope. That looks like a nice bluegill. If he really chows and gets a hook, we'll be in business. Come on back, bluegill. Well, he done my minnow in. Oh, look at this one coming out. Oh, what is that? That is a big bluegill. Oh, yeah. All these are decent looking. Come on. 
work, work, work them, work them, work them. Okay, drop it just a hair. One more drop. Oh, I was right about to set the hook. Oh, that looked like a good one. Come back, come back. Let's do a little rotation. I'm just gonna keep this jigging so they don't eat and we're gonna check out the crib. Look at that thing, that's super cool. Anything over this way? Nope. Nothing, nothing, there's something out there and then we're probably getting right back to the crib. Here's an even bigger one. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Those two are big. We could sneak down with a jig right away or just take the minnow off. Alright, I'll do it. I'm going to take the minnow off and put on one wax worm. That one looks okay. Are you serious? Just do it again. I dare ya. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I will catch you just to throw you back in the water. <laughs> oh. If you can't undo that. Oh, come on, Pike. Oh, whoa, whoa, on the screen. Yeah, go eat the minnow, dude. Go eat, that was a 30 inch all day long. 30 inch pike. Where'd he go? He got one. So I bet what happened is I lifted that bluegill up and he seen it and came racing in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a really small jig, so then I can catch a really small bluegill. And then we can use that bluegill for bait. All right, so now we're on mission, catch a super small bluegill for bait on the tip-up. And I see a super small one sitting back there. These guys are racing in. We don't want these. We want as small as we can get. See the one coming from the crib, bottom left, tiny, super duper teeny tiny. That's the one we want. See him? Here he comes. That perfect little guy. Come on, do you want to be tip up bait? And of course, a nice one comes in. Oh, come on, perfect size right there. No, 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 no. I want a small one now. <laughs> okay, I guess. Jeez. Choked it. See you later, buddy. She's a little breezy out. Oh, yeah, here we go. You, Yeah, take it. Take it, you little tiny thing. Sorry, it's up here. Yeah, we got northern bait. Perfect. Perfect little bluegill for bait. Let's go put them on a tip up. And here we go, bluegill for bait. Good to go. We got a bluegill on for bait. All right, I'm gonna jump out to a deeper hole. I drilled a couple earlier, um, trying to find some fish. I'm gonna jump out to one of those, just with nothing, just with the jig rod. We're just gonna sit there and jig and try to catch a crappie. When we catch a crappie, we're gonna put the crappie on for bait. We need to catch one of these big pike. It'll be awesome. It'll be like this big. So that'll be cool, if it happens. I don't know.
we're gonna try. There we go. So do we have a fish already? Okay, that might have been bottom. So I say I just reeled it up a hair, and now we just sit here and jig. Jig, 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 and hold. If I could give one lesson to people, it's that less is more. So a lot of people just jig, 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 jig. You know, you're trying, but we want to slow it down. We want to just tap, you know, just little ones. And we got a fish on. That's a blue gill. Surprised? No. All right, well, I've been posted up on this fish crib for a little bit. Um, lots of bluegills down there. We could sit here all day and just catch bluegills. The tip-ups haven't gone off. Um, we're gonna move, so don't go nowhere. A little midday update, we're gonna move. Um, we're gonna go try to catch some crappies, try to get the camera going on them. Uh, crappie like to move a lot, so hopefully I can just kind of get on a little basin about 10, 12 feet, and maybe some crappies can come through. So, if you guys are enjoying what you're watching, again, my name's Kyle. I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button because this is what I do. I'd love to have you guys with for the journey. So, thank you if you are subscribed, and thank you for subscribing. It's free, right? Um, yeah, so, let's pack this up. Go over here, let's catch some crappies, or try to, and uh, pull the tip-ups up, and move. So, here we go. Done with science, we're just fishing now. This one. This minnow is like dead, oh well. This deep. Okay, let's go get the camera and aqua view rolling, let's catch some crappies, and hope that one of these go. It's not been a grind of a day, but it's been slow, fast, bluegills, man. You know what I mean. Let's get down there before we run out of daylight with the camera. Whew. Get to that point of day where dark water and cameras just don't play fair. Here we go, crappie. Boom, okay. Look at that. Not a... Not any size to them though, but it worked. Sweet. Made a little move. Oh, I say we should put him on for bait. He's a little big for bait. Got a little crappie. Sweet. See you later, buddy. We're only in like, I don't know, 12 foot here or so. Let's try to get more. I'm happy about that. We got, we did it. We did it. We moved, caught one crappie. The day is almost over. We're so close. I'm just hoping a tip up goes or we can hammer some more crops. Oh, look at this one, shooting up. Neat, neat, okay. Oh, little guy, little guy. We got some wind. Super duper small little crappie. All right, see you later. Super tiny guy. We'll go back down. Let's try to catch some bigger ones. I guess it is getting dark. Well, it gets to that time of day when I'm still looking at the tip-ups going, are you gonna go up? But it's dark, the aqua view is on black and white mode. Um, the sun is just about to go down. We're gonna get out of here. We might come back here and fish for these pike, especially with my buddy Zach and some of his family uh, that I got coming up uh, next month. This month, somewhere in there. You guys should be excited for that because uh, there's some big fish in here. They just didn't want to eat today and I was only out here from noon to four or two to four, something like that. I lost track of time because we were moving and moving and moving. But like always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time.